what's going on people welcome back to another one so on to another journey again i'm about to leave kampala um and go back to kenya for another trip um i was in kenya as you guys would have known you've been watching the videos but i came back to kampala for a few more weeks to relax a little bit and now i'm back on the road uh bags are packed everything is ready i'm about to go back to kenya so um, I might be filming a little bit here and there along the way if something interesting comes on, comes along But I'm not gonna be filming the whole journey like I did last time because obviously I showed you the whole journey And um, yeah, so I'll catch you soon. I'll continue the vid when I'm on the road. All right, Kenya 2.0 on the way Okay, people so We just got here We arrived at the offices here in Kampala, the much poor officers right there. And your boy, obviously, I just exchanged some money like I did last time as well. Um, like I mentioned in my other video, apparently it's better to exchange Ugandan shillings here in Kampala before you actually get to Nairobi. So I did that last time and the lady said, she claimed she gave me a good rate, but I don't know if she did. And also I just changed some more money today and she gave me, I'm gonna go back, let me drop something in the bin. I'm gonna go back and see if she's gonna give me a better rate she says she's giving me like thirty-five thousand uh kenyan shillings to one one million ugandan shillings so you guys let me know in the comments if i'm getting a good deal or not but you know she said rates you know fluctuates they go up and down so it is what it is so i just arrived here i'm on the 4 30 bus here um we still got maybe 25 minutes to go um my bags are in the office and um yeah so as you can see, you're probably wondering, where's your boy? Today, we're moving solo today. Oh yeah, one, one thing though, um, if you're traveling on these, around these times like around 4.30, make sure you give yourself enough time because there was so much traffic today. Because it's a Friday, apparently people go to pray, they go to mosques and that, our Muslim brothers and sisters. So make sure you give yourself at least two hours to come into town because there was so much traffic. But my Uber driver, we've done, you know, you know done some magic to make sure we got here on time we've got some spare time but give yourself some time or take a border <laughs> it's much quicker but anyway i'll continue the vid in a bit the ladies over here looking for me to give me my bunda right here there she is guys 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 a quick update yeah so something i just found out that i didn't know even if you're in uganda and your phone has your uganda line in there if you have your your M-Pesa, um, if you have your M-Pesa um, app still on your phone, you can actually top up. You can put your money. Let me get inside. It's very noisy. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you're in Uganda and you're trying to go to Kenya, right, and you want to put your money on M-Pesa, if you still got the app on your phone, yeah, you can actually top up your money here before you actually even put your SIM card in there. So, obviously, I'm still here in Kampala. I've got my Ugandan SIM card in my phone, and, but my M-Pesa uh, app is still on my phone. So, I just gave them my number that I registered with my M-Pesa when I was in Kenya. The number I'm gonna be using, and yeah, they just topped up my money on my M-Pesa, so it's cool. I didn't have to wait till, you know, I got to Nairobi to put money on my M-Pesa, hello. <laughs> She's looking at me, talking to the camera like, what's going on? So, yeah, so before you actually leave, as, as long as you still got your M-Pesa app on your phone you can actually top up your money, your M-Pesa here in Kampala even though your Kenyan number is not on your phone yet so I didn't know and I want to let you guys know just in case you're in Kampala and you're going to Nairobi and you're like oh I must wait till I get to Nairobi to top up my M-Pesa nah you can do it here in Kampala before you leave as long as you know your number you give it to them and they'll put your money on there and it shows up straight away on your account man i love this impressor system man I, I wish they can utilize it more here in uganda instead of using this mobile money nonsense man impressor is the thing anyway guys we're still waiting for the you know for the bus to pull up they haven't pulled up yet let me check what the time is give me a sec so right it's nearly 10 past four and we're supposed to be departing at 4 30 so we still got like 20 minutes to leave so yeah i'll get back with you guys in a minute look at this art piece right here outside the national theater nice piece so right so 
it's that time the bus is here we just pulled up and they're loading all our bags on we're about to take off soon we're about to depart soon but first things first always make sure you use the washroom before you board this bus because you never know how long they're gonna take for them to stop for you to use the washrooms again so very essential use the washroom before you jump on here's the bus right here much cool same bus we used last time me and my boy ash so same driver as well he remembered me he's like oh we traveled together last time so yeah so what they do now uh they load in the bags they also check your passport or your id uh, with your seat number to make sure everything is cool before you board so yeah let me get on okay people so we just made a stop the first stop of the night here in ginger i think it's called ginger l but it's ginger overall but we just made a stop here obviously the bus is here and this is normally the first stop you make we made the same stop last time as well again as you can see i'm rolling solo today so we stopped off to get some food and obviously people to use the washrooms get some refreshments sodas and stuff it's the restaurant right here you order some food here they've got chapatis samosas and some food here as well You're getting some white rice we're gonna get some white rice and some chicken and get back on the coat on, uh, on the bus and then munch I was in the middle of editing a new video as well for you guys it's gonna be epic so let me get my food and then jump back on the, on the bus so keep it moving okay so we've got the package we've got the food it looks like the gravy is peeling out but ah, we're gonna fix it in a minute we've got the chapati as well i don't know they probably packed it wrong let me fix this before we go <laughs> right that's a bit of an update so if you're traveling to this journey carry some forks or spoons because you're gonna stop at these places here you've got no forks or spoons and you have to use my hands how are you gonna eat rice with no fork or spoon the struggle is real yeah they said they ran out okay guys so back at you real quick so i just um went through immigration here in busia just crossed through to Entev um to kenya and um, yeah, just going through immigration here, like things are so messy. Like apart from the people who sit behind the desk, who you know stamp your passport for you, as well the borders go past. Most of, most of the people who actually work here don't even wear no uniform, so we don't even know who's who. So people be asking you questions, be like, be giving you booklets and stuff, things for you to sign, and you don't even know, like you don't know like who's who. You don't know if they work here or not. It's a bit messy. That's what I don't like about this border right here. And also, I don't know if you guys notice, it's like, it's everywhere in, Kapa in Uganda. Ugandans literally don't know how to give people their personal space. And what I mean by that is, as it gets a little bit dark, <laughs> excuse me, what I mean by that is, when you're in Uganda, or if you're, if you're lining up somewhere, for example, like here, at immigration, and it happens even at Entebbe when, I, when you land, when you come from abroad and you land at Entebbe and you got Ugandans all around you, I think it's a Ugandan thing. They don't know how to give people their personal space. These people literally will stand right next to you where their body's literally touching you and stuff, right? They have no respect for personal space. <laughs> it's crazy. Most of the times when I'm here, most of the times when I'm in Uganda, like literally when I'm lining up, like say here at the border, there was a guy standing right next to me, right? I had to tell him like, yo bro, like back up, bro. Like they literally wanna stand right next to you, right by like it's crazy. I think it's a Ugandan thing, bro. It's like they literally line up right, right next to you. It's like, yo, give somebody their personal space. And even when you approach the window and you give your passport at the immigration bit, they literally stand right behind you. It's like they it's crazy. But anyway, it is what it is. But this border here in Busia, it's a bit messy for my liking because like I said earlier. People who actually work here, they don't even wear no uniforms apart from the people who sit behind, you know, um, the windows, the people that stamp your passport. So you get people floating around and stuff asking you questions. You don't know who's who. <laughs> so, but it is what it is. We're crossed over now. We're into Kenya right now. We're still waiting for a few more people to come uh, to get cleared through immigration and then we're going to make our way to Nairobi. But your boy needs to take a, a leak right now. So, yeah. Catch you soon. But we're in Kenya right now. All right. What's going on guys oh man some interesting updates though yeah um so you know that thing that people always say 
we're in the middle of nowhere, right? So, yeah, at the moment, I have no idea where we are. It's a petrol station. I don't know what this place is called. Probably somebody's inside sleeping. Let me not wake them. But our bus broke down. So yeah, our bus broke down. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. We've had somebody's coming out. I don't know who that is. Hello? No, me, me, me. Huh? I'm recording me. Me, me, me. I'm just using the light. Recording me. Yeah, just using the light. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Um, our bus right there. We it's got um we've been stuck on the road now for like going to two hours. It's got um I think it's got a leak on the petrol um by the petrol tank, so we're leaking petrol, so we're losing fuel. So um we literally as soon as we left the um. So as we left the, um, the border, the Kenyan border, we drove for like 25 minutes and then the car stopped, um, the bus stopped. So yeah, been on the road for going to two hours now, it's literally approaching 3 a.m. in the morning. We don't know what's going on. They're not telling us nothing else. All we can smell is fuel. And then there's guys under the bus trying to fix it. I'll film it for you guys if I could see anything, but you literally can't see anything. Yeah, it's mad right now. So maybe, Maybe this is the last time I'll be using the bus to go to Kenya or to Uganda. So we'll see man. First trip, last trip was cool, but this trip yeah, would have been further into Kenya by now, but yeah. Unexpected stops. But nobody knows what's gonna happen. Nobody we don't know how long we're gonna be on the road, they're not saying nothing, so maybe they're waiting for you know some help or something. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I'll let you know. Um, I'll update you guys in a minute. Alright, so yeah, the cons of taking the bus or traveling by road when you're going to Kenya. I'll get back I'll, I'll get back with you guys in a minute or in an hour, depending on how far or how long this situation is gonna take. Yeah, your boy is tired as well. I've been slept, I've been editing the whole night, but Let's see how long this is gonna take. I'm using my phone light, as you can see, trying to get a bit more light onto my face. And there's also a light here as well. So anyway, I'll get back with you guys in a minute. Alright. Ah, uh, good morning. Karibu Kenya. Oh, another stop here inside of the road. Uh, obviously because like I told you earlier, um, we had a problem with the tank of the you know the bar. So we lost a lot of fuel on the way here so now they're just putting more fuel in the bus as you can see the team over there busy at work using that yellow jerry to put fuel in the, in the bus and we're gonna be on our way so lady over here doing exercise on the road I don't know what she's doing <laughs> but yeah but we're we're in Kenya anyway I don't know what this area is called but yeah, just made them a stop and we're gonna be on the way soon. Yeah. Much cool. Much. Yeah. We have a problem today, a few problems on the way, but you know, they're waving us back on the, on the bus, so we're about to be on the way back, so let's go. What's going on, my people? So we just made our last stop here before. Uh, we reach where we're going before we start making our stops to drop people off here in um, Nairobi basically and um, yeah this is the one of the stops we made last time Anna's restaurant obviously last time when we were leaving or we were coming it was too late but because of the delay we stopped in the morning it's around 8 o'clock so the boy just got some water people are buying some snacks um, some people are buying breakfast in there the restaurant is literally here on the main road on the highway and there's a petrol station here and of course there's clothes over there people sell they sell clothes i showed you this place before guys uh this is our last stop here but your boy i can't wait to get um to where i'm going to my apartment or oh, just to get off this bus to be fair because it feels like it's been a long journey yeah and your boy is suffering 
So there's a dude sitting next to me, right? And he's got some bad, bad, bad breath, yeah? Every time this dude breathes out, um, takes a, you know, a deep breath and breathes out, yeah? It's crazy. So, guys, listen. If you have a friend that's got bad breath and you know, tell them. I don't know, man. Some people might have a, it might be a problem, it might be a health problem, but boy, just let them know, man, because obviously when you're sitting next to people like that, it's not healthy. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe dude needs some chewing gum or to brush his teeth or something, man, but yeah, I can't help, I can't wait to literally reach um, Westlands and, you know, get to my apartment and get off this bus. Because this boy is killing me right next to me, man. But anyway, this is our last stop before we get to Westlands. I'll let you know. Probably next time I talk to you guys, uh, when I'm getting an Uber or a cab to go to my apartment or when I get to your apartment. So, in a bit. They're still working on the bus. Hopefully, it hasn't broken down again. Hopefully, we're not, it's not leaking oil or petrol again. My man is just checking it just in case. here on the main road as you can see and a lot of people are taking their bags i got my bags here and then you can get either border border or whatever uh, any means of transport to go wherever you're going so i'm waiting for my driver he's going to get the car and then he's going to come back and then we're going to load up and then i'm going to go to my apartment so which is cool because in a way like i told you guys the bus um broke down on us because it was leaking right the fuel was leaking so we got delayed for like two, two and a half hours. We would have got here earlier, but then it worked out well for me because check-in time starts at 12 and it's just after 12 o'clock, which is good. So I don't have to go anywhere and you know wait. When I get to the apartment, I can just check in straight away. So my man's going to get the car and then he's going to come and pick me up. Okay guys, so we're on the way. Uh, we're in the car. I'm in the car now. My man here is the same guy actually <laughs> who took me and Ash last time when we landed here in Westland last time when I was here in Nairobi so he came to the, to the bus and he saw me again and I recognized him so it's the same guy taking me again so you know what do you know so we're on the way welcome to Westland Nairobi again all right so I'm on my way to my apartment and when I get there I'll show you how the place looks like all right last time I stayed somewhere around here but same area this time around, same area, different apartments. Hopefully they're gonna be good as well, so I'll show them to you in a minute once I check in. All right. Okay guys, we made it to the apartment and I just walked in and I just wanna show you guys the apartment, the way it looks. I knew you guys know already. You already know um, I always wanna show you guys the apartment, the way it looks as soon as I walk in. So again, first things first, back against the door. This is what you see as you walk in. So this is a studio apartment. As you can see, we've got like a small kitchen area over there. Uh, this is the sitting area over here. Some nice little space over here. Uh, enough for one person. Um, we've got TV here, Wi-Fi here, Zuku. Okay, hopefully the Wi-Fi will be good. We've got a nice little table here, phone over here to call reception. A nice little plant over here. Okay, this is the view from the window in the living room. My man over there washing clothes. Okay, I think I'm on the third floor. All right, yeah, it's very clean as you can see. The place is nice and clean. And over here, there's a small balcony. Um, boom, 
you can see out here we've got some chairs out here three chairs there's some artwork as well and this is the view from the balcony that's the main entrance that's where you came that's where i came in that's where the gate is you're driving through there and you can park here or your ubers will drop you right here and up them stairs there's a swimming pool around there i'll show it to you guys maybe later or tomorrow all right so this is the balcony right here okay let's go back inside Locks, yeah, okay, cool. So, we've got a nice little table here, nice touch to give you some sugar for if you want to drink, have some tea or whatever. Some water as well here, nice. Another plant up here, more water down there. Okay, two chairs out here. All right, so this is the kitchen area out here. We've got a microwave, we've got a fridge, cooker right here, and I've just tried the water. You guys already know, I always you know, check if the taps are running properly. All right. They are running properly. Uh, what do you, they give you up here? They give you some glasses, some cups, some you know little pots and some plates as well out here, which is good. All right. So before we go to the bedroom, let's go to the bathroom. Boom. Let me see. All right. The lights on. Um, it's spacious enough for one person. We've got a shower here. Looks alright. It's been cleaned. Um, sink up here. Uh, we did turn the water on as well. They give you a hand towel. All right, looks like that's what they give you a hand towel, not a towel to shower, or maybe they might later on if I ask. Some shower gel, which is cool. I haven't turned on the shower yet to see if it's working, but let's go and see what I've got on. Um, all right, let's see. Yeah. There we go, it's about to turn on yet. Looks like it works. <laughs> some air freshener up here. And they give you some toilet tissue also, which is good. All right. And some slippers up here for you to wear if you're going into the shower, which is a nice touch as well. Okay, let's check out the bedroom. Boom, this is the bedroom right here. Okay, um, nice big bed. Looks nice and clean. Okay, feels comfortable enough. Oh, we've got the towels here. Uh, they put the towels on the bed. All right, I haven't seen them yet. All right. Nice and clean guys, as you can see we've got some artwork here by the bed and of course we've got the fan up here, just in case it gets hot in there. Another art piece up here, we've got some nice lights out here and we've got, good, we've got some little tables here to put your phone on if you're charging, which is cool. And mosquito sprays, which might come in handy, alright, if we've got some mosquitoes around there. Alright, what do we have on this side? These might be the wardrobes. Okay, got some hangers in there and we've got a safety uh, security box right here. Okay, I think over here we've got a big mirror. Wow, well, go on. Some drawers up here, another spray out here. We've got, we've got an iron up here and another cupboard up here. Some spare pillows and stuff. Can't open it right now because my suitcase is right here. But um, I'm gonna put my suitcase on there. Nice little resting area there and another big mirror right here for when you're getting ready or when you're getting dressed check out the swag you zimmy and then yeah this is the same view from the living room area on the same side that's the back yeah so guys this is the place and um yeah that's a nice touch actually these these little um i don't know what they call them they're like um they're for mosquitoes as well you plug them into the into the wall and you switch it on you put um the work with power so you switch it on and it lets off of um it lets off um uh fragrance kind of thing and it chases the mosquitoes away so it's a good touch if you don't want to use the sprays they give you you can use that you switch it on and i'm sure you can sleep with it on or before you go to sleep you switch it off so that's a good touch okay so this is the bedroom guys so yeah so guys this is the apartment here one bedroom apartment here in westlands here okay let me show you again all right cool so one bedroom apartment here in westlands here in nairobi um i just checked in obviously like i keep i've been telling you guys all day i'm by myself um there we go that's better i'm by myself obviously i didn't travel with my wingman today this time around ash is back in kambala so yeah one bedroom apartment is enough for me and yeah i'm about to check out the wi-fi um see if it connects properly and yeah i'll catch you guys in a bit so i'm gonna end this here 
Um, we arrived safely. Hectic trip, <laughs> you know, with the bus breaking down and all of that good stuff. But all of that stuff. But it is what it is. Stuff happens. But you know, we arrived safely. All right, I'm gonna be here for a while, creating some more content so you guys like and you know, guys, subscribe, man. Let's get to 10k, man, subscribers before I leave Nairobi, man. Come on and hit that like button, man. It's it's free, man. Just hit that like button. It doesn't cost you anything. All right. Time London. Catch you on the next one. Peace.